Alright guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be explaining you what a module in Python is and why I use modules in Python. So module is one of those things of Python that makes Python unique, powerful and we'll see how it makes it powerful. So now I'm gonna be telling you how to use modules in Python. So let us make a new file here. I will click here and I will type tutorial20.py and this will create a new file tutorial20.py and uh, now what I'm gonna be doing is I'll close this explorer and I will say import something so import is a keyword that is used to import some external code in Python now what is a module is the question so let me remove this and answer this question first so I'll say what is a module in Python so what is a module in Python? Module is an object that can extend the functionality of a Python code. Now what does it mean? It means that you can bring in somebody else's code, the code that is written by somebody else into your program and you can leverage what has already been done by him. So how cool is that? So let us say you don't know how to contact your operating systems kernel in order to make certain actions but somebody else has already written the code to do that so what you can do is you can import that module and you can use the specific function from that module to do this now uh, how does this work and what does this mean uh, let me uh, tell you in detail so what i'll do is i'll simply go to google and i'll simply say python built-in module so this is a google search that i'm making and you will see something called python module index and it will show you the list of built-in modules in python the module is something that extends functionality and i'm going to be giving you a very simple example by using math module so import is the keyword that is used to import any external module in python so let us say I write import math and now I can use the functions from math module in my Python code. So I can say something like a is equal to minus 8 and I can say print uh, math dot or let me say uh, instead of minus 8 let me say 8.45 and I can say math dot floor and I can say a and if I print, it will give me the floor value, which is eight. Now, if you want to calculate floor of a number of uh, any decimal number, you'll have to write the logic to do that. You'll have to come up with some if else conditions, but that has already been done inside the math module. You have a function called floor and you can leverage the functionality. There are many other functions as well. For example, there is something called seal and this gives uh, seal of a number and this is 9 because 8.45 uh, after that comes 9 and before 8.45 the least integer before that is 8 so the values of floor and seal are printed accordingly now the million dollar question is do I have to remember what functions are contained in which module and do I have to remember which function is doing what and which function is taking what arguments the answer is no you don't have to do that all you have to do is you have to go to the modules uh, documentation page and you have to simply go through the documentation wherein uh, it will be mentioned how to use a specific function for example if I search for math module I'll just press ctrl F and I'll say math and uh, this will take me to math module and I'll open this and you'll see that all the functions from the math module are here and this is return the ceiling of x the smallest integer greater than or equal to x and uh, this is something that you can use math.factorial is a function uh, although we have already implemented factorial but again uh, math.factorial is a function so we can say math.factorial and we can say something like 6 and if I type this you'll see the value of factorial 6 will be printed uh, on my output window so if I say 4 the factorial of 4 is 24 I remember that from the previous video and you can see that 24 has been printed on our screen so these are the built-in modules that were already there that comes with your python distribution now if you want to leverage somebody else's code that has already been written by somebody else you can import or you can install the module using pip which is the python package manager 
in order to use pip you will have to uh, open your terminal now i already have my terminal opened here so i don't have to do that again you can always use your macbook terminal or you can use your linux terminal as well but i'm going to be using uh, this built-in terminal from uh, my visual studio code so if you type pip and you press enter you'll see something like this and it will give you the information the command and this is the command that you'll be using most of the times and this is called install and this will install a given package to your computer so what you have to do is simply write pip install and package name i'll give you an example by typing uh, p uh, or maybe open cv python and if I type pip install opencv python the requirement is already satisfied which means that I've already downloaded this package so let me try something like pip install uh, numpy numpy is already downloaded to my system as well I cannot come up with a module that has not been downloaded so pip install xlrd is something that will be downloaded so this is also already downloaded so I don't I cannot come up with a module name which is not downloaded to my system. Now again, if you run this command in your computer, it will download OpenCV module from the internet and it will install it for you. And if you already have it installed in your system, it will show you something like a requirement already satisfied. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll simply Google search for best Python packages. And let me, uh, let me see some blocks or something. I'm just opening some random links. I just want to come up with the name of a module that is not there in my computer. So TensorFlow, scikit-learn, PyTorch. Yeah, PyTorch is something that we can install. I'll say pip install PyTorch install. Uh, my system is hanging for some reason. Install PyTorch. And this should download PyTorch to my system and I should not get a requirement already satisfied. So it's downloading. You can see collecting PyTorch and it's downloading PyTorch. Now again, you don't have to know anything about PyTorch. So it says that the package name is Torch. So I'll say pip install Torch and this should go through. So whatever package name you are uh, writing should go through. So this will install Torch now. Now uh, inside Torch, I'll get PyTorch. So you'll have to go through the documentation of the uh, module page and you'll have to see how it works in order to uh, leverage it. Now it is installing something PYYAML. It's uh, installing the dependencies as well. So now I'm getting this error called no module name tools.nnwrap. If you're getting any such error, all you have to do is simply copy this and you have to paste it inside your uh, Google search and you should see something like this. You'll see some link or something from Stack Overflow most probably. And somebody has already answered this question that you have to download it for Python 3.6 because it's not yet stable for Python 3.7. So the thing is I've chosen wrong package. So you can just go through uh, the package documentation and simply install it using pip install and once you install it and you are using a python version for which the package is supported you should not be seeing any error so now what i'll do is i'll simply say pip install tensorflow hub and i hope this is not installed in my system so i use a lot of things and uh, most probably i have everything installed on my system but again tensorflow hub is not installed so it's downloading it will collect it and then it will install it and after installing it will say successfully installed so i want to show you a successful installation as well so you can see that it says installing collected package is protobuf tensorflow hub and i have successfully installed these packages now uh, you can simply use import to import a package now I want to show you something. Let us say the package name is TensorFlow. So if I use import TensorFlow and if I use TensorFlow dot something, I'll have to write this long name again and again. So I can shorten my name by saying something like import TensorFlow as TF. So instead of TensorFlow, I'll have to write TF dot something. So like I wrote mat dot floor. Now I don't have to write tensorflow dot something. I will write tf dot something. And instead of tensorflow hub dot something, I'll write tf hub dot something. I can shorten the names. I can even import math as m. But in that case, I'll have to replace all these maths with m. So I'll simply say m. Here also I'll say m. Control S to save. And I'll run it and I'll show you that it goes through. But it's saying that no module named tensorflow uh, i think i have uh, i don't have tensorflow installed on this 
in a system. I'll say pip install TensorFlow. And if I write pip install TensorFlow, it will collect TensorFlow, it will download it for me. But again, uh, it is not supported for Python uh, 3.7. So you'll have to go back to Python 3.6. So that is a problem. But again, I'll uh, remove this line and we don't want to go very fancy here. We just want to understand how modules work and how all these things work in Python. So I hope you understood this thing and you will now be able to use the modules. So what I want to show you is uh, you can go to this page, uh, the built-in Python modules page, which is Python module index, and you can go through all these modules and you have a mini short description written here about these. For example, for math, you have mathematical functions. You can use sine, you can use cos, you can use 10. There are a lot of other functions, uh, most mostly related to mathematics so you can go and check them out as well as you have some modules like multiprocessing for process based parallelism and also you have something called OS which is a very important module and we are going to be discussing this in detail later but again I want you to play around with all these links go to the module uh, documentation page and see which function is doing what. So these are the built-in modules. Once again, you don't have to pip install them because they are already there in your system. They come with the Python distribution. If you are using Python 3.7, some of the packages which are not, uh, not built-in packages might not work. For example, TensorFlow creates some problems sometimes. So what you have to do is you have to switch back to Python 3.6 and make it work. But again, since we are not doing deep learning and all that stuff right now, we are just looking at basic Python, uh, Python 3.7 or whatever the uh, latest version uh, during your time is should work fine. So what I'll do now is I'll stop this video. I want you guys to go through all these modules and also I want you guys to install at least three modules which are not built in and tell me the name of those modules in the description below. And I want everyone to comment down below and tell me the name of three modules that you explored and what they are doing. Just don't simply give me the name of random modules. You just have to simply tell me that these are the modules that I explored and these are the functionalities, these are the problems that this module is solving for me. So I want you guys to comment down and also give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already by any chance, um, access this playlist i want you guys to access this playlist and uh, bookmark it safely keep it safe with you uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you next time